Hey everybody, it's me again. Today I'm showing you how I created this beautiful spring set. This is a sculpted set. I don't usually sculpt, but I'm trying to push myself and sculpt more because I prefer the shape you get and you get a better finish. So I am using CJP Negligé to create the um, base of the nail for me to work on because I will be working with all acrylic colours. So I'm going in here with CJP Negligé and I'm just creating the shape that the client wanted or as close to as possible. With this bit you want to do it as thin as possible because you don't want to create a really thick base <laughs> and then apply acrylic colours onto it. So I'm doing this to all of the nails. I had already primed and prepped the nails prior to this because I forgot to say that just so I just thought I'd slip that in there. So yeah, I'm gonna let you watch this bit and then I'll jump back in when I need to. Okay, so once I created my base, I let that set. And then before I apply any color, I'm going in with my 100 grit file and I'm just refining the shape and also taking off some of the acrylic that I applied so that it's, <coughs> bless you, Louie, <laughs> so that it's extra thin, so that when I come to put my colors on, it doesn't end up too thick. So I've left that in here for you. And I will come back in a minute. Moving on to the design, I'm going in on the pinky finger, the index and the thumb um, with Apple Shine. This is CJP and this colour is life. And I'm going to be creating an ombre with this colour. So I'm just applying Apple Shine to the tip and feathering that down towards the cuticle so that when I come to put on my um, colour that I'm going to blend it with, it will not have any harsh lines underneath it. I'm gonna do that on the pinky, the index and the thumb. And as you can see, I don't go straight in with my other color that I'm gonna blend it with, purely for the fact that it will move the acrylic that we've just placed down. So I do let that set or partially set before I move on to the next color.
Now that that colour's set, I'm now going to go in with Neo Nails Shell, and this is a cover pink. Usually I'd go in with a more, but I've run out, so this is the closest I have, but it is an absolutely gorgeous cover pink, and it's so close in colour to a more. Um, it's really good coverage as well, and really pigmented. So I just apply that at the cuticle area, and I'm just blending that all the way over the top of the apple shine that we'd already placed down. Once I've done this, I will then go back to the little finger, and I will cap that whole nail in clear and I'll do the same on the index and the thumb and then I'll be showing you what I'm going to be doing on the ring finger and the middle finger. middle finger we decided to go in with this gorgeous glitter now if you've seen one of my previous videos you will know that I decided to put up all of my glitters and didn't keep the bags that they were originally in so I don't know the names or where I got it from but I am gonna try and find I'll have a look. Louie I think Louie wants in you can't, mommy's talking. But I will try and find guys where I got it from. I have got a feeling that ah! it's the milkshake mix, but I just don't know where from, but I will find that out. So I'm just applying that onto the middle finger using a small bead of acrylic, and I then dip the acrylic into the glitter, and then I will just apply it that way. Then I'll let it set, and I will go back in a minute, and I will cap it. So moving on to the ring finger, I am going in with apple shine again and I'm applying this to the whole nail. With this nail, I'm going in with some netting, so I need to do this in one bead. Not the best at doing one bead application, but I need to do it because it all needs to set at the same speed. So because we're going in with the netting, I do need to let this set a little bit. Trick is with netting, you need to wait until it's gone matte. And then as you can see here, I'm just pushing in the netting, making sure that I get the whole nail. So once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm then gonna peel this off before it fully sets. And you need to do this really, really carefully. Now I'm going in with a really, really wet bead of CJP Snow White and I'm just rubbing that in to all those creases that we've just made with the netting. Don't worry how this looks now because once you start filing away, you will see that the design will start to show through. You just really need to make sure that you get it in every nook and cranny. <laughs> Moving on to the filing, I filed all the rest of nails but I thought I'd do this one on camera so that I can show you how that design comes through. You do see it more as well once the top coat's applied. So once again, I'm just going in with my 100 grit file and just refining the edges and the free edge and then also filing off the white off the surface of the nail. You don't want to over file so make sure you are keeping an eye on how much you're filing. But I literally just take the file over the surface of the nail around the cuticle area and you will start to see that design come through and then I will go in with a white buffing block 
And once I was happy with all of the shape of every single nail, I'm going to go in and cleanse over the nails with a lint-free wipe and just using some cleanser to get rid of all that dust. And then moving on to my favourite part, top coat. Literally my favourite part of the whole nail process, brings them to life. So of course I'm going in with my favourite top coat which is CJP Top Gloss, this is a no white top coat. Just applying that to all of the nails and then I'll cure under my UV lamp for two minutes. If it was LED, it's just one minute. Then I didn't do it on camera, but we did add a couple of Swarovski crystals to the ring finger. And I used a Kiara Sky base coat to add those to the nail. First time trying it out, but they stuck really, really well. So we're just gonna see how they go. Then once I've stuck those down, I do apply another layer of the CJP Top Gloss to the ring finger and go around the Swarovski crystal as well, just to make sure that they are secure. Then once that's set, take it out of the lamp, leave it for a minute to cool down, and then apply cuticle oil, and I am done. So that's the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to click subscribe. See you later.